hello and welcome to my channel this is tk game vids where i show you a lot of things how you can save money how you can uh, fix little things around your house um, sometimes i show you stuff about softwares and hardwares today i'll be showing you how you can fix your washing machine on when it shows error e8 especially the candy washing machine this video is for someone who is tech savvy who just wants to repair his uh, or a washing machine please do not attempt this if you don't know what you're doing you're not a diy person please do not destroy your washing machine but if you just want to fix it especially the candy washing machine with the arrow e8 e08 when it shows e08 this is how to fix it let's get into the video So this is how the back of your washing machine should look like. So it has a panel and about seven screws. So you would have to take all the screws out one by one. So you can see there how I'm taking them out. I'm going to speed up the video in some parts of um, so you don't get too bored with my voice so i'm speeding it up now so you just take apart the seven screws they're quite easy to take out so remember the first thing you need to do is unplug your washing machine from the wall you might not take out the pipes if they are long enough so that's the panel the back panel It comes off easily. There's um, a small hinge at the top. Once I move the camera, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it right there at the top. Then you just need to pull it down a bit to be able to take it off. Yeah, that's it. So once it's open, you can see the back of the washing machine. You can see the belt that leads from the drum down to um, like the, the main part where the carbon brushes are, where we need to take apart, you see? So that's the belt. We need to take off the belt first. So just give it a little yank on the side comes off easily it's not um, so difficult so yeah once you you are able to remove it keep it aside then if you look down there where where the um, the main 
brush in the main uh, the carbon is then you need to take two screws on that side you need to take them off it's held by two long screws so you need to take those two screws out I've sped up the video a bit so once you take those two screws out then you need to take take that part out again the main yeah there are two like cable plugs there so you need to just uh, yank it a little bit be careful not to destroy it so you yank it out a bit there is a white one and there is a small one that's the white one and there is a very small one like the one for the earth so you need to just pull on that a bit also yeah so those are the two so once you are able to take those two out then you will be able to reach into where that machine that um that turns the drum is that one yes so just give it a little bit of yank because it's been there for a while it might be um tricky to to take out so just give it a little bit of yank and it comes out there it is So now I'm going to show you, you can see in there the carbon brushes, the black one there, there are two of them on each side. So what we need to do is we need to take them off. You will see that um, the, the carbon brushes are no longer very long like the new ones I will be showing you. So there are two screws on each side holding each of the carbon brushes so you need your screwdriver to take them out you can see the two screws on the side So when it shows the error E08, it tells you that the carbon brushes have been depleted. You can see them. You can see this one. This is the one I removed from there. You can see it's depleted. So it's not touching the coils inside the rotor. So it's not touching the coils inside the rotor anymore. So you need to take them apart then you can see on the table there i have i bought two new ones on amazon they they cost like about 10 pounds for the pair so this is going to save you a lot of money if, if someone is coming out to fix it for you they might charge you up to 100 pounds or more but you've just saved yourself 10 pounds So it's easy to fix. You would see, you see, as I'm pulling that out, you 
you see the long this is the the new one you can see that when you press it in it goes in all the way and it can come out all the way so it's there's a spring behind it that pushes it out so you will see the old one has been depleted so because of that it doesn't touch the uh, the coils inside the rotor anymore so because of that the washing machine will not spin so once you get a new one like this you'll be able to replace it with the old one you can see the old one is shorter and the new ones are longer So get a screwdriver and just push it out a little bit it should come out so once it comes out you fix the new one the one from the other side short so we need to replace them with the, the longer ones that we bought from Amazon it's cheaper on eBay but it takes longer but the one from Amazon is just next day delivery and you can fix your washing machine straight away So yeah, once you push it in like that, then you can bend it a little bit because when it comes, when it comes, it comes straight. And then so once you push that um, the wire in, then you you have this. So I fix both sides then we will need to screw them back in place so here they are so we need to get the screws there are two screws on each side like i sh showed you So you need to press the carbon, the long carbon, you, you need to press it against the coil inside of the rotor. So you can you can you will see where two two of the screws can go in so you can put it either way you can see i wanted to put it at the top earlier then i brought it back down so you can put it at the top or bring it down like that so both ways will work so long they are pressing against the coil inside the rotor So screw it in properly is falling inside of the rotor uh, to take it back out so i would uh, speed up the video again
so I don't take too much of your time doing this. So remember to press press the carbon against the the coil. You can see that's done. Easy to replace. You can see the carbon is pressed against the coil inside there as you can see now we need to take the washing machine back out you can see the back of the washing machine So I'm going to put more light in there so you can see it properly. So now you can see those two places where I touched. Those places are very very important. Those are the places where you put the rotor back in. The rotor has, you can see the two, once I place the rotor down you will see the, the two hooks at the back those two hooks where the arrows are pointing those two places they need to go in at the back somewhere at the back there so you need to be careful and ensure that they go right in at the back because if they do not go at the back they will not sit pro it will not sit properly so you need to ensure that those two places where I pointed the arrow earlier sits in at the back and once it's in then the front one will go in easily like this so now we need to fix the plugs the white one and the other one for the F. You can see it right there inside there that one. So we need to put the, the white one back in. It's a little bit tricky but it's something that can be done. So we need to put that straight in into the socket. So remember to put the, the small one also, the, the F, remember to put that in also. So both of them are now in place, so we need, the next thing is to put back the two screws. So we put back the, the two screws in. I will speed this up so yeah so once that is in then it's time to put the belt back in place it's quite easy to pull back let me move the camera back a bit so the easiest way is to do it as i've done and roll the drum put the the lower part then align the belt over the drum and roll it a bit then it will go in place 
you can see it's back in place and that's it fixed ensure that the belt is the tension is there and also you can see it's because of the carbon my hands are have gone black yeah so everything is in place now so the next thing is to cover it back with the back panel remember there are seven screws on the back panel so like i said earlier you know the inch you put that inch back first before you screw the back plates in place you see the inch that's where i put him first then i will speed the video up again so put back the screws So that's it done. Done. And my washing machine. Okay. Plug it back in and that's it. You can see it's rolling back. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a boring one I know, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.